comes again, trying to get wide. You know he's got the speed to do so. He turns the corner. He's got midfield and more. Breaks one tackle, still on his feet, all the way down to the 20-yard line of Wake Forest. That, in a nutshell, is everything that's so dangerous about David Wilson. He yes. turned the corner and then tiptoed down the sideline. That's the first toss sweep we've seen tonight, and Virginia Tech does a great job blocking on the perimeter, letting Wilson get down the sideline, and you see an uncharacteristic by Kyle Corals, tries to knock him out of bounds, but Wilson's strong enough to stay in bounds, stay on his feet, and pick up extra yardage. You know, you gotta wrap guys up on the side, and you can't throw shoulders into good backs, because they'll keep running. Hand off to Wilson. Breaks one tackle, he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. their sea legs now. This is a lead play. You see the fullback leading. But boy, Wilson's so strong at the point of attack. He gets hit, rolls off that tackler, and into the end zone. What a great start to the second half for Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is 6 of 13 on third down conversion attempts. Here's Wilson. He's got the first down. He's got more. Lost his shoe. Losing defenders, too. Inside the 20 all the way down to the 14 yard line so there's your 100 yard game well did i just say that uh david wilson didn't have a great game check that that run just made it a great game for him watch the shoe go flying well, and this is demoralizing for wake force it's third and 15 and it's just a straight lead play for uh beamer just wants to run the clock out and punt the ball and yet they straight hand off and David Wilson, just unbelievable. Great run, breaking tackles, good stiff arm, ran out of his shoe. What else could he do on that play other than score a touchdown? We've heard of yak.